coming to you live from the Harley Heaven Adelaide headquarters, the dealership in the city, to bring you this magnificent Road Glide Special 114. This is the big dog, the big motor, Milwaukee 8 in vivid black or gloss black for everyone else on the planet. And it looks sensational. It's one of my top five favorite bikes in the world. I am seriously considering this, believe it or not. This is not just a video for the internet. This is pure self-indulgence today. I am taking this up to our highest mountain. I'm going to go up the freeway for some highway speeds. I'm going to come back down through some extremely twisty corners, low speed. I'm going to hit some city traffic on the way out. We're going to do everything in this, in this next 45 minutes to one hour. It's very exciting. Find out where my feet go first and the controls. Then I head off and we're going to do this. Ride by a wire throttle there, caught me off guard a little bit. But we're off on the big dog. It's so quiet you might have been able to tell from the start of this video when it was idling. It's extremely quiet idle. This is stock pipes, stock everything. Under the regulations, Harley's are strangled down there. Yeah. Government rules and whatnot, political correctness. So that's first impression, extremely quiet. We've got the stereo off for the moment, all the vents are open. I'll try them closed as well later on. There's three vents in the frame mounted fairing that's in front of me. Yeah, so far so good. First corner. Easy. A lot less anxious on this test, test ride than the Chieftain which was my first time out on a bagger. I feel like a professional now. This being my second time out. Still, it's someone else's bike and it is $40,000 worth, so I wouldn't say I'm 100% comfortable, but it's pretty damn good. Even that bus is drowning out the sound. The void is so quiet. Only when you roll it on do you get the signature copyrighted sound. What's the percentage of Harley owners that keep the stock exhaust? Probably like 5%. So that goes without saying, really, but nothing else on this bike I would change. I would like this colour scheme, the gloss black everything I wouldn't touch the seats I wouldn't touch anything fit finish is really good gear shift sounds and a signature Harley feel a solid clunk into place almost out of the city parks we'll hit this left hander and then it's straight up to our highest mountain so far with the two corners I've taken it's easy that wind buffeting is smacking me right in the mouth. That reminds me a lot of the Chieftain. I was getting it right in the face. In the face! In the face! No! <laughs> I am six, two and a half barefoot, so might have something to do with it, but the other road tests I've watched on YouTube of this bike, they're like, oh, it goes over the top of my helmet. That would be nice, but not for me. I do have the vents open so maybe that's got something to do with it we're going to close them at some point see if we can change the buffeting effect around it just drowns out the tailpipe sound i can't hear any sound from the bike itself all i'm getting is the wind i'll have a go at closing one the vents here just reach in through these porthole section areas. You can close one either side and then above the dash. There we go, you got the top done, got the right one done. Left one's a bit fidgety, but I'll get to that. Right, we got all three vents closed now. Let's see if it makes any difference to the buffeting. All right, we're out of the city square, and if you can see those hills in the background, if the camera picks it up, that's where we're going, right up at the top there. This truck's dropping its guts everywhere. Very comfortable bike. What's this guy doing? This road section here is a little bumpy, but the road glide is doing as its name suggests. It's just gliding over everything. Brake pedal feel is sensational. The brakes are so strong on this thing. It, it feels a lot like a super sport bike. They are Brembo's twin discs up front, so that explains that. But it's a lot of weight to pull up. You don't notice it at all under power or braking. The power though, it's got so much power, I'm just uh, mind blowing. 
just realised I've missed the turn off. I was going to go up the expressway and come back down the mountain. Looks like I'm going up the mountain. Oh well. Not to worry. But you are going to miss out on a cracking view because I'm going to be heading in the wrong direction. But these things happen when you're on a bike that's just <laughs> got your mind on autopilot for a little bit. You're soaking, I'm still soaking up everything. All the controls, the feel of the thing, everything. And I've completely missed the turn off. But here we go. We're going to start to climb the hills right about now. The road surface here is super rough, which is why I wanted to go on it. This is a true test in every sense of the word. This is a test in that it's tight corners, very narrow road, and very rough surface. So can the road glide soak it up? The bumps are all in the wrong places too from memory. They're right on the apexes. Very uh, unsettling for the bike, but this thing with its soft suspension is ploughing over most of them. On a sports bike, it's, it's very difficult around here as far as getting bumped around. The big road glide doing a great job of ironing out. Easy to tip in. The cracking view is over to my right of this section. If I was coming back down, you'd see all of it. Next road test video, I'll come back down. Second guessing when to pull it on and off because you, you really shoot out of the corners on these things. With this much power, being in the wrong gear isn't such a problem, even when you're going up a hill power everywhere with this big 114. It's more power than the Indian 111 Thunderstroke by the seat of the pants feel, which is not knocking the Indian's power plant. It's got plenty of power, enough for how I would ride it. But it's worth pointing out this does have more, which means I have to concentrate more when I'm going out of corners. I pour on the power mid-corner and understeer off over the arm cable. The confidence these late model bikes give you, even though even the full-size luxury touring models, it's you shouldn't be able to do this. You shouldn't be able to go up a road you don't know that very well. That's rough, tight, twisty on a $40,000 motorbike and feel fairly relaxed doing it. But here we are. Clutch is super light, feather like. It doesn't feel like a big tour at all. Once you're rolling, this thing is, it is like a sports bike. It's power everywhere. Why you would want more power than the 114 on one of these things? We've had a pretty clear run here. Not a lot of cars on the road today. Speaking of cars on the way, here's one now. And they're pulling off. Excellent. The imposing size of the road glide had something to do with that. Gave a bit of a thank you wave and we're on our way. Got to have coconuts of steel to drive a bus up here. There's literally a cigarette paper's width between the double line and the edge of the road. Even the road glide feels like I'm pretty much filling up a good portion of the side of the road here. this now I turn right here do I? Pretty sure I do. I am anyway. And we'll go to the actual summit of the mountain. What's this car doing? Just up here a bit further I think. You do sit up a little higher on this bike than the Indian Chief and you sit it's definitely lower to the ground that bike and you sit closer to the dash. The road glide you sit further from it higher seat position at least it feels higher it could be just the width of the seat but my legs do have to stretch down a bit little longer than the chieftain uh, it's so it's so much fun in a corner it doesn't matter what motorbike you ride if you can get that leaned over go around the corner and feed on the power a little bit it's fun
hard, but I just got hit in the dome by a brown small stick from a tree. Lucky I took that in the head like a champ. There's no arm crow. This is probably the worst corner of the road as far as danger, because you go over the edge there, you're falling down almost a kilometre to your grizzly death, and you're going to damage the bike. The trees look a bit burnt as well. I think the fire came through here a month or so ago. And this is, this is yeah, the most dangerous. The road leads away a couple of these corners as well, trying to tip you off, and it's bumpy. Uh, it's a real test. It's fun. Yeah, look at those trees, all nice and burnt. For our overseas viewers, bushfires here are basically every year. Maybe not, not, not in this exact location, but in Australia in general, we have a lot of fires here. It's, it's fairly natural. Sometimes it's because some diggling threw a cigarette butt out, or it's a man-made disaster, but they can also be naturally occurring. Nothing to do with climate change, although people like to politically point score off as long as it doesn't burn up your brand new road glide, uh, life is pretty good. These Brembo brakes are straight off of a super sport. The bike stops so well. It's incredible. I'm using my foot to brake a lot around here. And they are linked ABS, which means if I really step on it, the fronts are going to come on as well. They're not going to lock up. The bike's going to balance itself out. And it makes it extremely safe but it's also easy to ride and the bike feels like it weighs nothing when you're both braking and on the power. I've got a bit of a view to the left of us that's where people go to get married I've never actually been there I'll see if we can sneak in and oh, that's the exit isn't it oh well I'm committed to go down this is actually quite steep here we'll just tiptoe yeah. can't really see any spots might have to do an Austin Powers and do a U-turn. See if we can enter through the other side. It's like a little country lane, like we're on an episode of Antiques Roadshow. That's the thing, this bike is so quiet, they're not even going to know I'm coming down here. I probably shouldn't be here, but we're going to have a look anyway. I haven't been, I haven't had a look around here before. Groundskeeper man, we won't go his direction. There's a reasonable view. Now, if you're on the other side of the mountain, you get a view over the city, out to the beach. It is way better, but we'll stop it right here and have a walk around. And there we have it. Look at this. Harley Davidson Road Glide Special 114 on the top of Adelaide, quite literally. Climb that mountain like a mountain goat. Sport bike territory, doesn't matter. The Road Glide does it all. That seat, so big and wide, extremely good looking and practical. There it is, the big 114 Milwaukee 8, four valves per cylinder. It's going to take a quick picture on my phone here. Because you all don't click on videos anymore unless I've got a fancy thumbnail photo I've noticed. There so. we go. Coming in, come on. Yeah, bit of hair, bit of hair. Smashing. Okay. It's coming round now. Coming round. Yes. Yes. Great. Yes. 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 Oh, you're wicked. You got your motor working overtime, darling. Yeah. Look, I'm not even shooting it. It's insane. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Come on. Hey, this mine. Okay. Come on. While well, I'm putting my gloves on, well, let's just go over to the edge and have a closer look at this view. If this was the Million Dollar Bergen YouTube channel, I'd put up the drone right now and get some amazing 4K shots from 500 meters in the air, but this channel is a little bit more low budget. But we do have this, the Jet Black, Gloss Black Road Glide Special. Oh my goodness. That's why companies let you test ride things, because they know once you try it, how on earth are you going to give this thing back? Now let's head down. Wider roads, a little bit more speed and some sweepy bends. I'll get to use top gear.
ride-by-wire throttle control is very sensitive and it's you go faster than you think you are you have to look down and check the speed it's very easy to speed on bikes like this with this kind of power yeah, it sits at 90 there's not a lot of wind at all there's no wind smashing me in the chest we've got the vents closed uh, like we did in the traffic lights earlier they're all closed they're still buffeting smashing me in the face of the helmet the microphone area but other than that my chest area is not getting any wind and it's it's cruising along at highway speeds just as it does at suburban city speeds it doesn't feel any different other than you're going faster the Indian it's it's um, the power delivery is a little bit more predictable than the big 114 Harley which yeah you might have seen as I was creeping up the hills I took the first couple extra slow because yeah, you don't want to feed on the power too much and you shoot over the double line. Almost at the bottom of the hill, that's the beach in the very background, if you can see that, and the city before that. And that's where we're headed, headed back to the dealership. But torque for the street is infinitely more fun than horsepower, that much I can assure you. Oh, yellow, hard brake easy these Brembo's are it's like riding a super sport and that was a hard brake let's play with the stereo here a little bit we haven't done that yet I didn't even know we had a country music radio station here apparently we do that's pretty good that is clear that is loud huge speakers on it so if you don't look at your reflection when you're at a stoplight, then do you even ride a nice bike? It doesn't look that big at all. When this road glide styling was resurrected and I first saw it on a magazine cover, I did not like it at all. I, I would even go as far as to say I thought it was an ugly bike. It started to grow on me and like, it's really distinctive. It's a unique looking bike. You can't mix it up with any other vehicle on the road. Some people say it looks a bit like Darth Vader. I am your father. Especially in this black colour. Others have said it looks a bit like a great white shark. Front end. Aggressive, kind of sinister look. I like it and that's why it's in my top five and why I was so excited to get on it here today. And I'll pull up and park right where Million Dollar Bogan had his famous Kung Fu fight scene in his last video. Harley Davidson Road Glide Special 114. What a shame to give it back. <laughs> 